Hey guys, Random Race here. How's it going, guys? Just picked up this package, uh, or just got this package from FedEx, and hopefully it'll be my brand new iPhone Black 3GS 16 gigabyte. And um, been waiting for this for a little over a week now. Uh, they shipped it directly from the factory there in China, and since you know it's obviously made in China, and went all the way to Alaska, then to down to in Indianapolis in the U.S., and finally back up to Canada. So. Pretty, uh, pretty pumped to uh, open this now. So uh, yeah, let's slice this thing open. If I can do it with one hand, I uh, guess not. And hopefully, should be my new black iPhone 3GS. Oh, damn it! And here it is, guys. Brand new black iPhone 3GS still in the uh, shrink wrap, and I'm having issues trying to get this out. This box was also obviously designed uh, specific specifically for the iPhone 3GS. That's pretty cool. Here it is, guys. The black iPhone 3GS, and it is how many memory? Pretty sure it's 16. Yep, 16 gigabytes. Still in the shrink wrap. And let's get ready to pop this baby open. Let's see, 2009. So I think this is the recent one. So recent model, I mean. So let's hope that. All right. So we're gonna box unbox this in a, a different location. Um, from my previous experience with unboxing stuff, it's really hard to do it with one hand while holding a camera. And since I don't have since I don't have a tripod, I'm gonna try something a little bit different. We got a uh, glass shelf here, so I'm hoping I can just lean the camera on like this. I have both hands available, so it's cool, cool. It works, it works. All right, so um, just to let you guys know, I don't have two iPhones, and I know I'm pretty sure y'all know I have the white one. However, I had issues with it and sent it back to Apple, and they were nice enough to send me a brand new. One. That was a fail. Send me a brand new one. Uh, in black and um, hopefully that dropped in damage it <laughs> anyways let's pop this thing open That's how you cleanly take off the uh, shrink wrap. So let's pop this open. All right, guys, here we are. Nothing inside here. And we have the uh, black iPhone 3GS. And you can smell it. It definitely uh, came directly from the factory, straight from China, which is pretty cool from Apple. How am I supposed to take this out? Oh, this. Oops. Here you go, guys. Black iPhone 3GS. Oh, wow. It does look, a, in my opinion, definitely does look a lot nicer than the white one. Sixteen gigabyte. We'll just put that aside for a second. Moving on. Got the tray that holds it. We got the uh, documentation stuff in here. The smell of the package, honestly, guys, smells like latex paint. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, so we got fingertips, uh, basically your quick start manual, the French version, the warranty stuff, and your really awesome Apple stickers. Wow, well, uh, no kidding, guys. This honestly, this smells like latex paint right now. <laughs> Oh, and it got the uh, SIM card pop thingy where you stick it in to pop the SIM card out. Moving on, got the uh, USB uh, charger. Very small, very portable and convenient. Got the USB cord, hook up to your computer or charger. And you got Apple's infamous white headphones with the uh, 
uh, remote control for volume and pause and play. Oh, and the newer headphones as well as they include the remote do also have a uh, new um, headphone jack here. Used to be all uh, rubber here and head iPod headphones were notorious for um, you know breaking in that area because it was so you know it was weak rubber. So it's nice that they uh, you know made this a lot more tougher with plastic and you know just it's look looks a lot better and it's definitely more tougher to make your uh, iPhone or not iPhone your iPod headphones will last a lot longer. Anyways guys that's um that's pretty much it for the unboxing. Uh let's see what the bottom shows. We accidentally slicing the box here but you know that's okay. 16 gigabyte, nothing on the bottom to worry about. And back to the iPhone. Let's see. Any power? As usual, it's just going to show like a little iTunes uh, icon to let you know how to plug it in. And whether or not I can put this in a video or not, I might. Um, yeah, I'll probably put this in the video. I'm going to hook this up to iTunes, upload all my stuff on it. And hopefully in a second, I'll be back. So, anyways, yeah, that, that's the thing I was talking about. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video on the unboxing of the black iPhone 3GS. Definitely uh, black, in my opinion, looks a lot more nicer than the white. Obviously more fingerprint prone and will show scratches more, but um, I'm going to have a case on it anyway. Alright. Alright, so I just finished uh, uploading all my stuff onto the iPhone. And um, everything's all there now. Music, photos, you know, that kind of stuff. It took an hour though, so it uh, took a long wait. But um, everything's back on the iPhone and so far I am happy with my decision to get the black iPhone uh, thank you YouTube user uh, Sab Kao uh, you, he does a lot of dealership car startups tours details that kind of stuff uh, link in the sidebar if you want to check out his channel and he's back to the iPhone definitely like the black a lot more than the white um, it's more eye-catching color shows off the uh, chrome trimming a lot more than the white um, obviously matches the keyboard and mouse I guess you could say and um, you know, Chrome just looks a lot better with darker colors, especially black. Looks great on electronics, and looks great on cars as well. Um, when I originally got the white one, it was because you know white was just different to the Apple color and it matched all the accessories, which is the main reason I got it, because you know I like things that actually match together. But um, you know, just white wasn't it wasn't like a phone color. And, um, you know, since I had issues with it, I uh, thought this would be a good opportunity to change the colors, which um, thank, which uh, Apple gratefully uh, did for me. And um, there's the black box, which you all have already seen. So anyways, um, I may make, make a review on the iPhone if you guys want. This video is just, just for you guys, uh, subscribers. Um, there's tons of videos out there on the iPhone, but I'm just making this for you guys, and, and uh, you guys are wondering what my opinion was. Anyways, uh, obviously the black, white, they're opposite colors, um, does not match the Apple accessories at all, but it uh, doesn't actually look that bad, and um, I'm pretty happy with it. Definitely happy with the choice of the black. And um, again, this is the 16 gigabyte. Um, those are just uh, the uh, plastic film that's left on there. I just left it on the Chrome before I put it in the case soon. Uh, it will be in this case. Griffin shade case. Anyways, guys, um... I guess that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys are looking for an iPhone, uh, I definitely recommend the black. Um, I guess the only downside with black is uh, it does show up fingerprints more, it scratches more as well, I heard. I haven't had scratches on it yet, but... Uh, oh, that reminds me. Um, when I first opened this, um, I did notice that there were already a few fine scratches on the left side of the uh, chrome bezel for some reason, not sure why. Um, was hoping for a flawless phone because I wanted to keep it flawless, but... You know, it's only a matter of time before something, you know, gets messed up. But anyways, uh, if you're going to get an iPhone, definitely get a case with it. Um, I recommend, where is that? If you're not going to take the phone out of the case a lot, get the Griffin Reveal. It'll show off the back of your uh, iPhone. And, um, yeah, now I'm wishing I got the uh, black Griffin, Griffin Reveal to match it. But, oh well. Uh, that shouldn't look too bad. I'll probably just put it in this case anyway, but... Anyways, guys, any questions or comments, you know, post them down below the video. And that's pretty much the unboxing and a few rantings about the uh, my new black iPhone 3GS. So, yeah. Have a great day, folks. Rate, comment, subscribe.